And here's an email we got from Sam. I'm confused about Matthew 3, where it says that Jesus would baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. Mm. It sounds like fire is either judgment or purification. Can you explain your view on this? Thanks. Sort of going back mm-hmm. to that idea of the filling of the Holy Spirit that we started the program with, what do you mm-hmm. say to Sam's question, Mike? What it, one of the things it reminds us of is that the Holy Spirit is not uh, just uh, a soft, sweet dove. Mm. <laughs> uh, the Holy Spirit throughout the Bible brings judgment mm-hmm. as well as salvation. And that's what we see here when John, John the Baptist uh, is... is Uh, distinguishing the Messiah from himself. John the Baptist is just preparing the way. Jesus is the way. And when Jesus comes, uh, he he will baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So in other words, uh, there's going to be Pentecost up ahead. He's going to pour out his Holy Spirit upon all flesh. And at the end, He's going to bring the final judgment of the world. And so that's what he's re- referring to here. You know, back in junior high school, I, uh, I had a teacher who wanted to get me fire baptized. Uh, <laughs> I told him I was a regular baptized fellow, but he, uh, he said that that was just for starters. So I was in coach, and he wanted to move me into first class. If you really want to have a spirit-filled filled life, you got to get uh, baptized with the Spirit and fire. Mm. Well, fire not only in the scriptures, but in general life, is hot. Yeah, Fire hurts. Fire's painful. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be baptized Don't listen to the guy fire. who's trying to baptize you in fire. No, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, it's hell. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's hell. Uh, you don't want that. That's not a higher level of salvation. Yeah. Now, I've heard, Mike, that the Roman Catholic Church teaches that the fire here is a reference to purgatory. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, he do, uh, here's, here's what he actually says. He says, uh, after immediately saying Jesus will baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire, John the Baptist explains, his winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Mm. Two things, not three things. Um Heaven and hell, <laughs> yeah. Not heaven, hell, and purgatory. Mm. Not uh, salvation and unquenchable fire, but somewhere in the middle, there's there's another thing. No, it's just those two things. The final judgment, uh, as as the writer of the Hebrews says, it's appointed for everyone to die, and then comes the judgment. 